Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, matrimonial system. So first of all, uh, select a project name that is matrimonial project. And uh, after that, uh, you can create uh, some models for the matrimonial project. So uh, create a new ASP.NET Core web applications, select a web application and uh, authentication is used for the single uh, individual uh, authentication or you can say use for identity server and uh, so first of all create a design or you can say add some classes in the model folder uh, related to the uh, matrimonial uh, users so bride and groom so use application user class or you can say that matrimonial user so pick a s property some old project here there are uh, old project matrimonial and uh, here is the new project so just copy and paste uh, the properties and application user class inherit with the identity user class and uh, resolve some users uh, enumerations and picked from all project there are uh, gender marital status and relations so just paste it here marital status matrimonial just change the name of the namespace matrimonial project gender marital status and relations now after that you can add a new model class that is name message okay so uh, in the later video session i mean to say that the third video uh, tutorial i will show you <coughs> I will show you uh, how to uh, handle the self-reference key in this project because the, uh, because sender also a application user and the receiver is also a application user class so uh, when uh, send any groom uh, masses to the uh, any bride so the application user class send message to the application user class so here we have a self self reference key so in the middle table that is the message so there is no uh, id key or you can say the key in the message so content sender id receiver id and uh, that's it so now after that you can uh, create a application DB context class that is used uh, identity DB context and in which you can add application user class okay so now just uh, add some add uh, masses class also in the DB side and also create own model creating because you can set it here uh, with the many to many relationship between the user to user okay so you uh, you can add own model creating uh, override function in which you have uh, here you have a uh, entry has one with many has one uh, has foreign key on delete behaviors so the first thing is used for the sender and the second thing is used for the receiver so the has one is the sender with many send messages in the application user class has foreign key is the uh, sender id and on delete behavior also you can add it uh, add in the project okay so this is the relationship actually uh, to set in the uh, on model creating now after that you can add uh, view model folder and uh, now also add identity server in uh, project so override all files after that I will uh, show you one by one uh, if any changes in the any files so I will show you in the latest video so guys uh, like this video and subscribe my channel uh, I request you uh, don't forget this please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, wait for the next video tutorial thank you very much for watching this video